Hey people, Intrit here, 3v3, Angel Gate, Redux, Blue Team. Servarius is a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and destructive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control alongside Cyanides, Force Commander, very strong offense, fighting in melee, Conosso tank, disrupt and support. Odium rounds off the team with a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that leaps into combat, some powerful disruption and support. The Exodites Elite Scheme here, what else did we have? We've got some Black Legion and some blood ravens red team some orcs in the house gaz with a war boss a melee hero will give you objects very good offense disruption and support we have shazza 4 as a mech boy teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat puts out some good damage with a bunch of orky gadgets and rounding off the teams goma pile as a hive tyrant a durable hero will give you objects good offense disruption and support begins in melee with a basic synapse i shall call you ablo Tableau's going up against the Force Commander early on, gets a good special, kicking off towards the northeastern contested victory point here. I dig the lighting on this Angel Gate Redux map. It extends a bit more up into the northeast, all looking very cool and destructed. Cormagorn's in amongst some heretics, which is a dicey fight for them. Having to flee, Sorcerer helping out as well. Although the war boss was helping out the Hormagorts, down they go. Here comes Pablo to see what's going on. I need to adjust my chair one second. There we go. My chair was collapsing on me. Warp trickery, I say. One to one cap very early. Hormagorts, no, Termigan, sorry, trying to get a northeastern VP. Doesn't seem like Goma Pyre wants to replace the Hormagorns, at least not yet. They got some Warrior Brood on the way. War Boss smashing through some heretics, get Doom Blasted, and runs off. I'm sure he's pretty pissed about that. Shooter Boy is barely making it out. If the scouts chased there, they might have been able to finish them, maybe. Maybe the Tactical Marines would have had to have chased as well. Back down to the southwest. Only a single power point here on the Redux map. So not quite as vital. You see it's only two players fighting over it and often on Angel Gate original you'll see 2v2 fights down here to try and get control of the two powers. That was a yep, yeah, a death gun on the mech boy before he fell over dead. Sluggers running in on Banshees, there's more sluggers coming in. The first one's wiped out. It's a bad fight for you guys. Banshees run off. They might lose both the sluggers though. They do bad fight for Shazza 4. Really bad fight. Up to the northeast now. Course one gets knocked over by Warrior Brood jumping in. Speaking of jumping, Storm Boys jumping onto the back lines where there's some Chaos Space Marines. They just got their eternal war. But they don't want to fight the Storm Boys. Storm Boys have power melee weapons. And it will mess up some Marines in tier one. Use your choppers and the sluggers. Getting the sorcerer out of there. War boss with the cyborg implants. Stormboys jumping into retreat paths. Got some grenade launcher heretics there as well. I need some anti melee stuff, I think. Got sluggers, warrior brood, and stormboys to deal with, not to mention the melee heroes, of course. Shazza 4 starting to recover with some sluggers of their own. Not sure what these guys are doing. Oh, they're waiting for their burners. So they can burn down the garrisoned units. Using burn that house. They're taking a lot of damage though. Need to be careful. Did a lot of damage also. And a heavy bolter in that garrison. Annoys the war boss. He has to run. He did take the northeast and the VP. But can they hold it? Blue team hitting back with tax, scouts, and there's devastators in that garrison. Force commander's where? On his way. Red team getting a natural back. One to one cap here. Grenade misses. No upgrades for these shooter boys. Eh? I guess all their power got dumped into the storm boys and the cyborg implants early on. Barb strangler warrior brood now. Oh, why are you retreating, buddy? Pablo retreating off. I think maybe they meant to retreat the warrior brood, maybe? Or just the termigants and the, and the hive tyrant got stuck in it. You call that sticky retreat where the game sometimes doesn't seem to want to choose another unit and it just oh, I'll retreat everything for you. Natural powers up in the 
northern areas of the map is quite interesting, I think. Because you can get the VP and push straight on. Flamers on the way for these tacks, but I don't think they're going to be able to use them. They got one of the gens down. Speaking of fire, sluggers. Are they still on range to start? So they need to be careful. Stormboy's jumping onto some CSM. Getting flamed and dealt with. CSM here getting the eternal war up. Not sure where the other fellas are. Where are they? Oh, they're right there. They're coming. Sorcery gets shot down on a VP. 4 3 4 to 4 8 5. Frantic action in tier 1 here. Players starting to think about their tier 2s, I think. So Varius will probably just go tier 2 now. Not sure about Gaz. If they drop those sluggers. How is Shazza doing? What's going on, buddy? He's got the v he's got the uh, power. Got some sluggers with burners. Got double sluggers with burners, actually. Banshee's yelling. And then they run. Got suppressed by the barb strangler, I think. Those warriors are quite low. Grenades coming in. They are avoided. They waited just a few seconds longer, waited for them to retreat and got those in retreat path, maybe. Warlock, are you going to revive, buddy? What are you up to? Got the immolator. I think he tried to revive, but it misclicked, maybe. Nope, he's still having trouble with it. Go, Mr. Warlock. Oh, can't res. Apparently, some kind of issue selecting the sorcerer. We'll see if the force commander can manage. There we go. The force commander's got it going. Not sure what's going on with Odium. Having to retreat now. He's very upset. War boss now with a bang bang hammer. And <laughs> Savarius so saying he's a Xeno. That's why he's going to re revive him. Angry bits also. Couldn't quite get the power down. What's going on over here? Walks doing some work, you know. Lost double sluggers, just got more sluggers and gave them burners this time. And they're doing alright. Odium, I think, was trans uh, rotating up to the top quite a lot. What's this? It's a big old war boss charging through. Crippling poison on the CSM. Big stomp coming in. That's so satisfying. All these years later, still so sad. Just kicked the sorcerer to death. Awesome. Burned that house for the sluggers. One of the awesome changes that you get with Elite Mod. Devastators didn't drop a model, but they are forced to flee. Termigants, meanwhile, are trying to cat. Do Chaos Space Marines get a grenade in tabletop? Because tax do, right? I mean, most of my knowledge of the tabletop is like 5th and 6th edition, but tax would get a frag grenade and stuff. Is it the same for Chaos Space Marines? Sluggers. Are they okay? They're okay. Maybe there's some kind of weird chaotic type of grenade. That'll be fun. A warp grenade. Give them a warp grenade. What is that? What would that do? Just implode things. Or scare things or something. Tier 2's all around. Looks like Goma Pile and Gaz are going to be the last to get there. Where are the Storm Boys? Oh. Right here. Bashing power. And jumping. And there's use your choppers. Shotgun Blast helps out the tax. The tax didn't seem too worried though, did they? Went for the garrison quite calmly. Heretics helping out. Yeah, they made them waste the user choppers, although it's not the most expensive. Isn't it only 75 red or something? It's like plus 40 melee skill or something nuts with some melee damage as well. Warboss charging through. Very little charge and he's, and he's off. He's out of it. What's this? Warlock down. Make boy levels to two. Yeah, he's having trouble with his double sluggers. Did not get a shuriken and didn't get anything in tier. Maybe they want a wraith lord here. Maybe they're saving their power for a wraith lord. Their power just got hit though. Up here. Tax on it. Capping faster than normal because they're smart or something. They know how to read the codex. Nobody else knows how to read it. Tells you how to cap stuff quickly in there. Here comes a chaos dreadnought for Cervarius. Maybe it'll be a mark of corn fella for some warp shenanigans. There's a revive. So I almost gets level 3. Force Bonner's got no war gear, by the way. Neither is the Sorcerer. Neither has the Hive Tyrant. Warlock taking a bunch of damage. Sluggers now have their knob leaders, so they are exponentially more dangerous, I would say. Banshee's very bravely jumping in, getting some good specials. War Shout as well. 
They did better than I thought they would, but I don't think they can stay here much longer. Those sluggers are almost gone, though. 39 hit points, the knob leader gets away, do the banshees get away? Surprised there were no grenades in there. Like, if they did that, if they'd got those specials in and then retreated the banshees and chucked grenades, that would have been awesome. Kicking off in the northeast. Warbots charging through. Force Commander's got a power fist now. Okay, then. There's no vehicles on the red team, but he wants a power fist. He can have one. Still 85 heavy melee DPS. Stormboy's jumping in. Knob leader means that they stun on landing because he's a big fella. But there's a dreadnought right there going into melee. And even without a full melee loadout, it'll have like 73 heavy melee DPS or something. But I don't think it has a splash. Hive Tyrant Pablo runs away. Maybe the Dreadnought could have killed him there on retreat with a few hits. Maybe. Plasma Cannon up also for Cyanide. Watch out for, for the Emperor on that thing. The damage buff. Sorcerer has a Rod of Warpfire now. Force Commander with Artificer Armor on the way for durability. Orcs terrorizing this VP here. And Shazish has gone tier 3. And Odium was indeed waiting for a Wraith Lord. Here it is. That's bad news for the Sluggers. Very bad news. I wonder if Shazza will get Tank Busters when they spot this. Or if they're just going to go straight to Nobs or something. Blue team not wasting any time getting onto the power. Auto kind of Dreadnought with that underslung Heavy Bolter doing some good work. Also starts with a lesser form of melee resistance, I think. Which is awesome for this guy. A 20% melee resist. War boss lost the indicator for them. They're level two. Bang bang hammer in. Nothing's close enough to get buffed by it though at the moment. How close do you need to be? Does it tell me? Radius 28. That's not bad. That's slightly less than like synapse range. I think synapse range is 32. Good special there. It's a very quick special animation. And then he kicked one. Is that special animation unique to the bang bang hammer? Because doesn't he typically do a like jump with his default weapon? It's like a stomp basically. Those stick bombs? Yeah, stick bombs. Lots of green crap. That's from the Neurothropes Catalyst, I think. Not Catalyst, Cataclysm. I don't see Shazza getting anything up. Tons of red though. Dreadnought's in a bit of trouble maybe. There's a big stomp from the war boss. Stick bombs, some friendly fire on the war boss, but he's alright. Dreadnought needs to leave. Sorcerer can't warp it because the sorcerer is here. Down goes a Dreadnought. A little bit sloppy from Servarius, I think. If they recognized that situation, they could have re retreated the sorcerer off and then warped the Dreadnought back. What is this? Oh, that's like um, Spirit Leech from the Nero throat, I think. Draining energy off the, the Force Commander there. Because he doesn't naturally naturally regenerate energy to Neurothrope, so he needs to use Absorb Life and Spirit Leech to get it back. 238 to 392. Bob Strangler suppresses him and he runs off. That was a rough fight for the blue team. Lost their Dreadnought and stuff. Cyanide has a Whirlwind, though. That could do huge amounts of work at the top of the map. Are you guys going to cap? Yeah, Tank Busters are capping. Is it Tank Busters? Yeah. Gaz has tank busters and stick bombs. Stick bomb throw misses there. Storm boys ran into a lot of trouble. Good plasma cannon shot. Almost wiped those termagants. Are they going to wipe? They do wipe. I think Doom, Doom Bolt's got them. There's paroxysm again. Percentage based damage over time. And it's psychic damage type. So extra versus heavy and super heavy. Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines to bring some aggression in the blue team. Are oh, they going to regret that going up against Sluggers and Storm Boys supported by a war boss? Not to mention Pablo here, who's got Crushing Claws and Improved Synapse and Warp Field now. Kitted out back down to the southwest. Wraith Lords did around. And they've grabbed that power back. Have Odium. Sluggers wipe. Sluggers wipe. Wraith Lord doing some good work here. And they've got Dark Creepers too. Maybe they can get onto this. Just some shooter boys hanging out. Up to the northeast again. Warboss getting knocked around by the whirlwind. And now being 
fought by the Chaos Space Marines and the Force Commander. These guys are getting their aspiring champion, but they need to leave. I think they need to do. Surely they can do something about that aspiring champion, eh? Gets a melt pistol. Does get the melt pistol. But is that enough? Does he even do more damage? I don't think he does. Doesn't say it here. I feel like that guy should have a slightly better weapon or something. Not sure what what weapon model they can give him. I guess it could, could just be another chain axe, but with more damage on it or something. Or maybe with like, with like a slight debuff on hit, that would be fun. Or maybe a buff on hit, maybe he could, he could buff his own squad very slightly with like a little blood rage buff when he when he hits something with his axe a little stacking few percent damage buff or something Gaz has got a looted tank on the way Goma Pyle's got a lictor on the field battle wagon coming up for Shaza Odium goes tier 3 but Savarius and Cyanide still in tier 2 although Cyanide is floating like crazy here that's an outrageous amount of float. And they have enough red for Terminators. So the big mistake there. Should go to tier 3 get Terminators up or something. Uh oh, Lictor might die immediately. Yep, dies immediately. Double Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines now for Servarius. And you know what? It seems to have made a difference up here. They are wrecking some stuff. Goma Pile down to Neuro Throat now. They've got tons of red and decent amount of resources. Although not a lot of power income for the red team. This got hit. Storm boys. Short range jump to try and stun some stuff. And there's that paroxysm again. Here comes Pablo. Is he going to go after the Wraith Lord? Nope. Not sure what he's going after. The Dark Creepers, I guess. Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines got level 3 and level 3. Doing some good work. Pablo needs to run. Sorcerer is what? Almost level 5 now. Tier 3s for Savarius and Cyanide. There's your battle wagon. Got a unit inside of it, you can tell because of that light bar. I think it needs two units inside of it to get the full benefits. It gets more speed and all the shooters will fire if there's orcs inside. So to pilot those guns, I guess. Uh-oh. Flesh over steel, and down goes the tank. Our fist comes good. Also got the teleporter to help him get those off. I lost a lot. Oh, I lost all, I think Gaz says. Yep, they're down to stick bombers. It's, it's rough for the red team. Can they recover here? They have slightly more victory points, but not a huge lead. If blue team can maybe force their way through, if they recognise how much of a how much of a advantage they have, it's not always easy to to see that in a three v three, like how much stuff you've killed, especially if your allies have done the killing. Do they know that Gaz has lost most of their army? Do they know that Goma Pao lost most of their army? They do seem to be pushing pretty well. Stick bombs. It's a decent hit. 238 to 230 on the VPs. Down goes the whirlwind. It got battle wagoned. There's a death roller. Is this any good anymore? It doesn't seem to be doing much damage. It used to be insane. And it would act that it would like completely destroy retreating units and stuff. It doesn't seem very it doesn't seem very scary anymore, the death roller. 238 to 214. Maybe it's more for the disruption though, not for raw damage output. Chaos Terminator is getting paroxysm, then it is standing in it. Retreated out eventually. What is this coming in here? It's Assault Terminators for Cyanide. Rocks thrown in. Gets a decent hit on the CSM. I think they survived. Nope, one of them didn't survive. Here's the charge death roller thing. Assault terminators are on it though. They've got those heavy melee thunder hammers. 
also see the Warlock helping out, although not doing much with an Immolator. Level 7, though, also has the Heart of Darkness. Down goes the Battle Wagon, then Red Team might be done for. Shazza 4 has nothing on the field. Not even the Mech Boy is up right now. Warlock falls over. Some Darker from Flash Kits. Another Battle Wagon on the way for Shazza. It did do a great job before that. Took out the Whirlwind, pulled some Havoc. Just got kind of caught in a rough spot. Neurothrope's doing a lot of work as well. Oh wait, is it dead? Wow, as soon as I say that, as I was saying it, the Assault Terminator is slayed. <laughs> the Neurothrope. Wraith Lord with a Bright Lance. Anti-vehicle weapon, trying to get some shots on that Carnifex there. Carnifexes have vehicle armor. Force Corona just being annoying. Gets big stomps. Doing tons of damage to those flash kits though. Can they kill him now? They can. Warboss gets it, just crushes his entire sternum and tosses him in a more difficult place to revive. Okay, well done. Level 5 Sorcerer now has the Robes of Torment. Could use it to mess with the Hive Tyrant, I suppose, but the Carnifex won't be worrying about Robes of Torments. Another Neurothrope on the way for Goma Pile. Shazza 4 with double commandos. I mean, Orcs are pretty damn good at recovering in Tier 3. They have such good and diverse Tier 3 options on double commandos at the moment. Got some Stern Guard on for Cyanide. Cyanide floating again. Huge amounts. Huge amounts. Over 400 power. Don't feel like they need to spend it, I guess, right now. 180 to 204. Still have a VP lead somehow, Red Team. Look at this. Commandos with their fast capping getting some sneaky capping done. Blue Team have that full power. Should try, should try to steal that with the commandos, I think. They're taking this. They bashed one power there. Maybe we will see double blasters for Gaz. Wraith Lord stood around, has done some good work, eh? Level 3. Stun bombs. I remember when they made that change, many, many years ago, Relic, when they changed the stun bombs to actually stun vehicles. Some people that were horrified by this change, like it was going to break everything ever. It turned out alright. They were like, oh, way too OP, you can't have the stun bombs stun a vehicle. But calm down, fellas, it's alright. 150 to 204. Stick bombs. Good throw. Messed up the Dark Creepers and they're getting darkered by those Snaz guns now. Carnifex with no upgrades here for Goma Pile. There's still a big old, big old mellow be melee beastie without it. Without any upgrades. Chaos Predator with Marco Zinch. Got stunned briefly. You guys gonna get. Nope, they're sticking with their death gun. 148 to 93. And it's a sorcerer now stealing their natural VP of the red team. Triple cap for blue. Red team still trying to recover. Another Carnifex on the way for Goma Pile. That's an Eldritch Storm. In kind of an odd place. In between a bunch of stuff. I guess it spread out and did some good disruption. Just keeping them away from the VP. Red team are getting the natural back. But the map looking very blue right now. Carnifex number two still not on the field. Pablo the Hive Tyrant runs away. Chaos Predator's going way far forward here. Trying to finish off the Carnifex, I guess. Oh, we do have Beam loot up. Don't think the Carnifex is going to make it. Down it goes. Beamy Looter doing massive hits though on that tank. Now it's behind the um, this building it can't be shot at. One more shot would have done it for sure. Harano Formation from Goma Pile. Just trying to get these guys out of here. Tank survives. Building did not survive. Orbital Bombardment in base. Thanks to Cyanide going to be very difficult for the red team to come back in, although we do have this whole situation. Grenade! 
Burner bomb, but love the Daka came a bit late. Here's an avatar now to deal with. In this cool Exodite, uh, like pale green, bluish, I don't know what you call it. Teal? Maybe it's teal. Got a decap. Now needs to run. Well done, Gaz. Uh, Shazza, I should say. Wraith Lord getting commando rocketed. Big damage on that rocket launcher, eh? Pretty nice. Oh, that knob leader died. And here comes an avatar. Run away, fellas. Ouch. Oh, they got the knob leader immediately. 148 to 87. Repairing, says Cyanide. What is he repairing? Oh, the tank over here. Carnifex effects number two. Oh, they did go thorn back here. I wonder if it's going to get away, though. It's going to get last cannoned a lot. Lots of Laz cannon in. Five Tyrant at level seven. The Roxism is out. Red team, you need to cap the VP, fellas. They are really not capping it. What is this guy doing? He got strangely spit up. Neurothrope. Makes it out, I think. Yes, makes it out. They did not get the decap, though. 148 to 68. And there's Chains of Torment. Tons of Daka. But the Terminator is going to be resistant to that piercing damage. Autark dropped in. Nicely done by Odium. Just as they were trying to get pressure onto the VP. They are pushed off it. Maybe they should have committed more to getting a decap there. Rather than shooting things. Might have made the difference at the end. But there to be a 1 to 1 rather than a 2 to 1 now. There's a Phobos. Already assault terminators. They're right here. Look at the float on Cyanide. Almost 900 power. Blue team basically coasting. It's been an uphill struggle for the Reds. But they've given it a good old go. And they're back on that VP. Finding it hard to get good usage out of the Hive Tyrant and the War Boss at the moment. They just don't have the support to do their thing. Level 8 Hive Tyrant, no, level 6 War Boss. They have done a good job throughout the game. Rocks causing the Terminators to teleport out, so their teleport has been used at least. But the Carnifex is going to have a bad time here. Looks like Shazza got a decap. Carnifex isn't going to make it away. Lots of anti-vehicle weapons. There's that Daka. Surprised they didn't get the blasters up. They're against Space Marines and Chaos Space Marines. Lots of heavy infantry around. They didn't get those blasters. Maybe they just felt like they couldn't couldn't afford them. Imperial Abyss from Savarius there. The second nuke we've seen in base. Two to one for blue. Red team running out of time, and I think blue team have it. Level 8 Hive Tyrant here. Must have crushed and clawed a bunch of stuff, that's for sure. Yeah, but it's terrorizing base now. Wailing Doom. Crunch. I don't think it actually killed anything. Oh, it killed the looters. And Eldritch as well. One to one cap. Gaz doesn't like this map apparently. I think it's cool. There's not much here that can touch the avatar. Maybe the neurothrope can with a paroxysm. But they got a cap down here. Now Guardians can grab it back. Level 4 Guardians, eh? I feel like that's something you don't see very often. Guardians hitting level 4. There's a Paroxysm. Avatar's already out of it, though. And slicing through Flash Gits. Red Team didn't concede. They fought to the end. Can the Zone Throat use Symbiosis on the Neurothrope? I think they can. 
I don't think there's restrictions on it. There's the game. Look at the power they had at the end, the blue team. Crazy. Maybe a red team should have just conceded earlier, but I really wanted to see a game on this map. It was fun. Force Commander level 8, Sorcerer level 8, Warlock level 9, level 6 Warboss, level 8 Hive Tyrant, and a level 3 Mech. I mean, they kept pressuring the VP there, but maybe you could call that a laboured victory for blue team. Maybe they should have gone after this VP a bit more aggressively, maybe. But they won. No doubt about that. Where's the Phobos? Oh, I was right in base. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.